Okay, here, um, the force that's affecting this particle is determined by x, which is the displacement, or how far the thing is from its origin. Um, so we know we always start with f equals ma. This thing is 3 kilograms, so I'm going to say uh, the force is also minus x on 3. So this other side becomes our ma, mass is 3. Um, so we get acceleration is minus x on 9. Um, acceleration equals... Just give us some extra room. Okay. So now we need to find a displacement time function. This is an acceleration displacement function. So we're going to go to our formula sheet and go um, acceleration is d, dx. We're going to get the x and the dx together. Um, let's go with d. Integrate both sides. So, let's just have a look at this one. We don't have, a, uh, with respect to anything out here, um, we've got this thing of, let's just say D stands for the derivative of, and uh, the integral is the opposite of differentiating. So what we're going to do is we're going to go that, and that cancel each other out just like the square root of x squared is x. That's how we're thinking about this. It's a little bit different. and We haven't come across that before. So on my left-hand side, what actually happens is it just goes to a half v squared. And then we're just integrating on the right-hand side just like usual. So that would be uh, minus x squared on... 18 uh, plus C. Um, let's go with uh, V squared. Oops. V squared multiplied by 2. Um, X squared plus minus X squared plus C, because that 9 is uh, a square number, so V equals a third root um, C minus X squared. We'll just um, put that round the other way. And what we'll be told, let's just assume um, it has initial, uh, initial velocity is 6. So when displacement is 0, V is 6. Uh, 6. Uh, 18. What is... Oh, I made the wrong thing, 0. Sleep. C, C. So C is 3.24. So we get this rule. V equals 1 third... Uh, 324 minus x squared. So that job is done, but that's not a displacement time graph. Um, there's no time anywhere in there apart from this v. v is dx dt. So let's just go up the other side here. We've got here a dx dt equals one third 324 minus x squared. Um, oh my gosh, that's just, we just want to integrate. So let's get the 
the square root to the other side. Get the x and the dx together. Then we've got one third dt together. Integrate both sides. Um, we love the look of that because we love our trig relationships. It's on our formula sheet, no problem. So that becomes uh, 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 arc sine uh, 324 is 18 squared. So it's going to be arc sine of x on 18, t on 3 plus c. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's just go uh, x x on 18 equals sine. Let's just do it all in the one foul swoop, eh? Hey? Let's get that 18 to the other side. And that's all in the bracket. We're going to assume the, assume the displacement is zero when time is zero. Uh, sine of what is zero? Sine of zero is zero, so that means c equals zero. So we get our displacement time graph as 18 sine t on 3. So I know that I took two columns there, uh, but there you go. It's all on one page. Uh, love it.